Agora TV. The world is thinking. All those great leaders and all those great organizations, everything from Martin Luther King to Apple computers, it doesn't matter, big companies, small companies, in every single industry, all those that command great loyalty, people, loyalty is a feeling, loyalty is a feeling, a human feeling, all those that command loyalty from employees and from customers and from investors, every single one of them, regardless of their industry, thinks acts and communicates the exact same way, and it's the complete opposite to everybody else. All I did was write it down. And it's probably the world's simplest idea. I call it the golden circle. It's a bullseye. In the middle is the word why. The center ring is the word how. And the outside ring is the word what. It's this little idea that distinguishes those that survived those three years, and more importantly, it's this little idea that is able to inspire people to join you in your pursuit. Every single organization on the planet knows what they do. You know the products you sell and the services you offer. Some organizations know how they do what they do. These are the things that we think make us special or better or stand out from our competition. But not very many organizations can clearly state why they do what they do. And by why, I don't mean to make a profit. That's a result. By why, I don't mean to have an exit strategy. By why, I mean what's your purpose, what's your cause, what's your belief. Why does your organization exist? Why did you get out of bed this morning? And why should anyone care? As a result, the way we think, the way we act, the way we communicate is from the outside in. We tell people what we do, we tell them how we do it, and we expect some sort of behavior, a purchase support, a vote, hard, working hard. But all the inspired leaders, those with the capacity to inspire, every single one of them, regardless of their size, regardless of their industry, thinks, acts, and communicates from the inside out. They all start with why. I use Apple very frequently because they're easy to understand and we all get it. If Apple were like everyone else, a piece of communication from them would sound like this. We make great computers. They're beautifully designed, simple to use, and user-friendly. Want to buy one? That's normal. Here's our new technology company. We have these features and that features, and we're better than our competition in this way. We're simpler and have a better user interface. Choose us. This is, this is normal. Here's our law firm. We have all the best lawyers. We went to all the best schools. We went all of our cases. Choose us. This is the norm. But all the inspiring leaders and all the inspiring organizations do it differently. This is how Apple actually does it. They start here. Everything we do, they say, we believe in challenging the status quo. We believe in thinking differently. The way we challenge the status quo is by making our products beautifully designed, simple to use, and user-friendly. We just happen to make great computers. Want to buy one? Totally different, right? It feels different. You want to join me in this pursuit, not because my computers are better, but because you believe what I believe. 